a nuclear power plant in Kenya, exploring the motives. Hello and welcome. I am Jalani Tasfaye, and this is News Analytica. In the last decade, some African countries have signed agreements to build and operate nuclear power plants to help them bridge significant gaps in their power generation capacity. Uganda, Egypt, Mali, and Burkina Faso are among the countries in the continent pursuing nuclear energy in collaboration with foreign partners such as Russia's Rosatom and China's National Nuclear Corporation. Kenya has joined the growing ranks of African countries that plan to include nuclear power in their energy portfolios. Today's news analysis will focus on this issue in detail. Stay with us. Kenya announced its plan for the construction of its first nuclear power plant in 2027 as the country seeks to diversify its energy generation amid rising electricity demand and a push for zero carbon energy. It is also stated that the nuclear initiative would significantly contribute to fulfilling the country's aspirations to be a middle-income economy by 2030. The initiative received approval from the International Atomic Energy Agency in 2021. The Nuclear Energy Initiative is also justified on the grounds of reducing the country's carbon emissions and to connect 75% of its population to the grid. A significant reduction in levels of national carbon emission could be achieved by increasing citizens' access to the grid and reducing or eliminating poor citizens' dependence on the use of dirty fuels such as wood or coal for electricity needs. The nuclear plant is expected to have a capacity of 1,000 megawatts, which, if successfully delivered, will reduce reliance on thermal plants that have higher carbon emissions. As of May 2023, Geothermal energy accounted for the biggest share of the electricity generated in the country with a share of 45.21%, followed by hydro 21.05%, wind 16.08%, and solar at 3.92%. To realize its nuclear energy dream, Kenya has been sending dozens of students abroad to study nuclear energy to ensure that the country does not fully depend on imported labor. Looking at the issue closely, the initiative to build a nuclear power plant goes beyond the stated objectives of energy production and decreasing carbon emissions. As some analysts indicate, there are both domestic and global factors that explain the Kenyan government's decision to go nuclear. On the domestic front, there are two particular issues. First, the decision is associated with the allure of the national prestige that comes with having a nuclear power program. A second factor relates to political benefits made possible by the ruling elite to purchase the loyalty of key constituents who might otherwise represent threats to their rule. In so doing, they are able to reinforce their grip on power. There are also several foreign policy reasons why nuclear energy programs are popular. As the Cold War experience shows, these considerations will become more urgent for developing country policymakers when global geopolitical tensions are rising and alliances are shifting. Nuclear initiatives give a country diplomatic leverages in its attempts to reassert its interest in regional and global geopolitics. It is recalled that Russia has made energy diplomacy a cornerstone of its foreign policy agenda in Africa, and BRICS ally China is in the midst of a nuclear building spree of its own. The Biden administration has also recently begun to reinvest heavily in its nuclear energy sector through the Civilian Nuclear Credit Program. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.